This is Dragonfly. She's a 31 foot sea otter built in 2004. Sea otters are made of aluminium, um, so as such they're effectively maintenance free and they're so confident in the life of their hulls that um, they gave lifetime guarantees on them. That isn't transferable with ownership, but that's a statement of their quality. She's water filled with ballast. When you put the boat in the water, the the ballast floods, about a ton and a half of water goes in. And when you take the boat out, the water drains out. She's designed to go on a trailer, so any canal in the country or river is accessible very easily. It's the maximum length at 31 feet that you can put on a trailer. The gas lockers were in the forward hold there. There's a 30 watt solar panel on the roof. She's cruiser stern. And a phenomenal amount of space and equipment on a boat of this length. The engine's under there, that's a Nanny Diesel, 21 horsepower, 1200 hours on that. And down into the boat we go. She's fitted out an American white ash, so she's very light, very airy. Have a quick look round. And there's lots of storage on this boat. Big cupboard here. And next to it, huge bank of batteries on board, 360 amp hours. Those batteries were new in March 2019. There's a ton two tonneaus for the front and back decks. They were new in November 2017. And she was repainted in November 2017. Here's the bathroom, nice countersunk basin. There's a light over that. The mirror's heated and the shower, the tap pulls up out of that sink and attaches to the wall. There's your shower curtain. The loo is a cassette, Thetford cassette. Good size room in here, four foot ten. Head height on the boat is six foot two. And here's a dinette, single dinette. It's very clever. There's a board there. That goes in there to make a bunk, and the seats underneath form into a single as well. So this boat actually sleeps four people. Probably more designed for children, the bunks, but um, there we are. Full burner gas hob oven and grill. You don't need to black these boats, by the way, being aluminium. So once she's in the water, that's it. No biannual costs of blacking. There's the fridge and an ice box. That's a Shoreline 12 volt. Opposite that is a little cubby hole here with a stereo. That's a Sony and a bank of three drawers underneath. There is a galvanic isolator on board and a one kilowatt inverter, so she's pretty highly specced. This turns into a huge double bed, six foot two by six feet, and there's storage underneath. Storage underneath a single tonnette as well, by the way. Out onto the well deck. There are benches either side with storage in, and there's the gas bottles and the anchor. Lovely tunnel lamp. And beautiful doors, glazed. Have another quick walk back through the boat. I didn't mention the Houdini hatch that adds light and air. And there's a cupboard up here that I missed. Sorry about that. A few things I haven't mentioned. There is a dining table on board, squirrelled away by the stereo. She is centrally heated, gas fired hot air system, and the hot water is heated by the engine or an immersion heater when on the landline. There is a photograph of the beds made up, by the way, on our website in the gallery. So there we go, that's Dragonfly. For further information and photographs, go to our website www.rugbyboats.co.uk.